for Noosa Restaurant on Prospect Road. of secret eateries tucked away in the suburbs, well away from the bright city lights, white tablecloths and silver service. And this is one of them. Welcome to Babanusa on Prospect Road. And as you can probably tell from the music, Adelaide's only authentic Sudanese restaurant. At Babanusa, the smiles are always broad, the mood happy and the music free as owner Tahir Milik encourages the weekend crowds, or in this case, the girls at Andrea's Hen's Night to get into the swing of things. <laughs> the name Babanusa comes from the town in Western Sudan, which is a meeting place for several nomadic tribes. It's where music and food combine to create a laid back, relaxed atmosphere, which fits this eatery perfectly. Tahir grew up in the Sudanese capital of Khartoum and came to Australia in 1983 via Greece. And that's where his love affair with food began. So what happened is like for myself, my personal experience is when I went abroad to Greece, this one, my head started spinning and then I said, hey, I can't afford to go to the restaurant and eat all the time. Then I started memorizing the flavor, the taste, sending letters to my sisters, and then I started learning gradually about cooking. At the end of the day, it's all about the food, of course, which is characterised by distinctive Sudanese aromas, tastes and flavours. Chef Eddie Ahmed's dishes are not too spicy and feature plenty of vegetables and salads like eggplant, rocket and tomato. So we're going to dish some goat from the, from the pot. One of his most popular dishes is the goat, served with bread made from rice flour and lentils cooked fresh every day. His signature dish is lamat kurak, lamb shank with fresh mushroom sauce. The meat is cooked for three hours in a dish of onion, garlic, tomato and mushroom sauce. So we're going to grab one shank and add more sauce on top of that. That's called in uh, Arabic is lamb kurak. Kurak is the shank of the sheep. In Sudan, there is no such thing as recipe books. Popular meals simply get handed down through the generations, constantly evolving and improving. So each household has its own recipe and kind of like, that's how they stand out. You know, in a big wedding or in occasion, you know, like my mom example, or your mom, um, they don't hire a chef, you know. Um, all the neighbours are come and chip in, you know. So you and I come together and we have like um, 10 slotted goat and cows and, and all the women do all the, do all the cooking and, um, and each one of them has its role. Not like um, uh, you uh, do the lamb, you do the goat and you do the vegetables. Each one just go and grab thing and do it and it's perfect. Nice, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Not surprisingly, after such a long time in the oven, the lamb simply falls off the bone. And the taste is truly Moorish. Very tender. And like I said, the spice has gone right through the meat. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Mm. Thank you. A relaxed atmosphere, no pretense, great food and music. It makes for a classic Sudanese mix at Babanusa. It's an 86 